Here's a guy that I think gives the Browns something that they don't have in the wide receiving core. Uh, it, this is a Field Yates tweet. Over the last three seasons, Western Kentucky wide receiver Malachi Corley, 2,068 yards after the catch, most in FBS, and he broke or evaded 77 tackles on catches, second most in FBS. The question always with Corley is going to be Western Kentucky, Sun Belt. Um, if he's sitting there at, at, at uh, in your second round, you, you got to think about. It. If he's sitting there in the third round, he's a no-brainer. If he's sitting there in the second round, I think they might take him. Yeah, I mean, the Yaktus monster. I, you just get the ball in his hands and he makes things happen. And like you said, it he would give you something different than you currently have in your room. He'd give you an option outside of David and Joku to really get some damage after the catch. And it's just all those concerns that you could have of came from a smaller school. Those were erased in my mind when I saw him work at the Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, he actually earned Receiver of the Week in his group, and that's voted on by the defensive backs. You know what I mean? Like he's he's someone who really puts in the work and will go at it, and he just he's so physical. And it's just it's hard because he's kind of a unicorn in this draft. He does he does something a little different than the, than all the other receivers. And this is a great receiver draft, but he's the only one who does what he does. You know, so if you can add someone with a differentiating skill set like that, I think that would be a no-brainer. Yeah, I would agree. It'll be intriguing to see if he's there. Uh, I've seen some mock drafts that have the Steelers taking him uh, a couple of picks ahead of the Browns. Yeah, I knew I, I knew you were going to have that reaction. That's kind of I had the same reaction, which is why I, I brought that up. 